Hi, in this video, we'll talk about integrating your Legion form to other online marketing tools. Um, and we'll look specifically into linking lead gen leads to the email marketing tool ConvertKit, which is one of the email tools that we use. And we want to add any lead that comes through, through this form, to a specific email list in ConvertKit so that it can then trigger a lot of follow-up email campaigns. Right now, the lead form has just got one lead um, captured in here. So it's just it's literally like my details here. And the way we can recognize it is it has my name in here. In order to set up this integration, we have to open up Zapier.com, which is a marketing automation platform. And from there, you can link lead gen to any kind of other web app that's out there. So let's open up Zapier and let's start this process. So here we are inside Zapier. So the great benefit with this tool is that you can link your tools, in this case, your lead gen forms to anything else. You can link it to a spreadsheet, to an email. It could trigger certain other automation and that's really a valuable thing. And it's also quite easy to set up, especially once we've gone through it once, which um, we're gonna do right now. So the way this works is you click on this plus icon here and it says, make a zap. A zap is basically like a, an automation funnel. So now first thing I have to do is define the trigger. So the trigger is the app that triggers another action to happen. So in this case, the trigger is a lead is captured. So you search for lead gen, which is our tool, obviously. And then uh, there's the Legion app within Zapier. And now you have to define the trigger event. So here, the only option you have is new lead. So new lead is the typical trigger that would then allow you to do more with it. Then you click on continue. Now you have to sign into Legion so that you can 100% verify this is your account and you own those leads. So now we signed in, it has worked. So, and then you have to choose the form from which the leads are coming from. In this case, it's this one here, web design agency inquiry form, continue. Now click on test and continue to see if it finds the recent lead. Let's go back here. Let's see if it found my lead submission. There it says lead A pulled in seven seconds ago. And then it will show us landing page design, Chris. Okay, it has worked fine found the correct lead, we know it's from the right form. And then let's go to step two here, which is now the action. So the trigger triggers an action. Now the, the app we wanna choose here is ConvertKit, our email tool. But again, you could go with any other app that's in here and they have literally anything that you typically need, whether it's another CRM tool, another email tool, you should be able to find the tools that you use. And now choose action event. What we want is we want to add this subscribe this lead as a subscriber to a list. Okay, in this case, ConvertKit doesn't really work with lists, they work with sequences. So all we do here is add subscriber to a sequence. So and then it will show us what kind of sequences we already have built in ConvertKit. So you would have you would have to have that first. You use the ConvertKit account, the right one, continue, and then choose the right sequence. In this case, it's um, a test funnel that I've built which is called lead gen test list. So this is the name of the sequence, has no subscribers in it. So yeah, basically you have to now define what field of the lead gen form matches the email that ConvertKins understands as an email. So now you'll have to see right here. So yeah, basically I filled it in with this email address. So here, this is the email field, I'm, I'm choosing that. And then first name, you have to find, we have to find the right name for first name so that this is matching as well because ConvertKit needs a first name in order to, to fill in the custom variable. So if you, have, if you have an email template written out and then it says, hi, first name, you would have to be able to also fill that in or you can skip it if you don't work with that first name variable. But in this case here, this is the right one. Chris has the first name. And it will obviously then do the same for more leads to come. So then test and continue. It will run another test here. And then it says zap is ready. You can turn it on. So, and that has worked fine. Let's see. It's on. So now the first lead of me filling in the form shouldn't have now gone into ConvertKit because we have set up the zap afterwards. The zap will only work for new leads. And let's try this now one more time. And I'm, I'll fill in new details and then we'll see if this gets added to the list. 
So here we are again on our website with the embedded form. I'm going to go through it again now. Service requirement, the um, text message, I'm going to leave that open. And then now the name, I'll go with the, with the test name here, John Smith. So lead has been submitted. We will have it in lead gen. And now let's also see if we have it in our convert kit straight away because that should have triggered this automation. So now you see the convert kit dashboard. You see lead gen test list, which is the one that we have linked our form to right now before refreshing the page, it has zero subscribers. So here you see zero subscribers. Um, let's refresh this page and let's see if this lead has come through. And there we go. So the subscriber is in here. And now if you had some emails set up, some email automation, that new subscriber would get these emails on autopilot if this was set up here in this email tool. Now there's one more essential thing I wanna show you. Now let's imagine this, your lead gen form is now fully live. It's on the website. You have traffic hitting that site. Now you wanna be informed if you receive those leads. So this is one more step I wanna show you. If you go on form settings here, you can not only set up a thank you message, you could also set up email notifications. So in order to do that, simply turn that on here and uh, define a subject name, for example, lead generated from agency inquiry form. And then you send that to your email. And then you can define the name where it has come from, which you can simply say lead gen. So that's it. You save the settings. And now what happens is every lead that comes through will trigger this email and you get notified. You see all the responses in the email, which is great to see. So you'll see whatever questions you ask, you will see in that email. Now, this is the full process of building your lead gen form and making it live on your website and also integrating it. If you have any more questions, then please feel free to reach out. Um, we have a Facebook group lead generators. I'm going to put the link here below or reach out directly to us via email. And I look forward to hearing from you. Until then, take care and good luck with your online lead generation. Bye-bye.